your wire. I'm Bill Holland. This is one of the earliest mm. electronic synthesizers. The theremin, developed by Leon Theremin around a little after the turn of the century. Uh, this was popularized by many composers who found it to be the first really intuitive and inspirational electronic instrument. And it was used by many composers, most famously really adapted by Hollywood in movies like The Lost Weekend and Day mm. the Earth Stood Still. And it uh, features prominently in those movies as kind of an otherworldly <laughs> sound. Uh, one thing to keep in mind about the theremin, it has the control section mm. here. The control section consists of two metal antennae, which are, uh, they sense position of the player's hands. This one being mm. the control radio frequency and this one being volume. So you'll see here. On the left, I'm controlling my volume. On the right, I'm controlling pitch. So you can do vibrato by shaking a little bit. Now, also, the tone produced is uh, produced by what's called a beat frequency oscillator. It consists of two high frequency oscillators, which um, are made up of a detector circuit, which extracts difference frequency or beat frequency um, there's a high frequency oscillator which operates at 285 kilohertz and a variable pitch oscillator that operates between 282 and 285. Uh, the difference frequency on this operates from range uh, 0 to 3 kilohertz, which is actually 3.5 octaves above middle C. So check it out. So there you're hearing your variable pitch oscillator. So now I'm going to show you how to tune the theremin. What you want to do is turn the volume clockwise all the way, grab the pitch antenna here, and turn it counterclockwise until you hear the volume decrease. Put your hand over on the volume antenna, and then remove. Okay, there we go. Now what we want to do is we want to actually set our uh, amplifier, make sure you know how loud you want it to be, because now you have an idea of how loud it's going to be in performance. And then we're going to take the pitch control, stand where you want to stand for performance, grab the pitch control. So if I want my hand to start here, let's say I want the uh, range, because we're basically setting the range of how this thing's going to play. Uh, I might start, you know, bottom of my scale, I don't know, here might be good. And make sure your body, none of your body is in front of that. So your hand is always in front of your body or, you know, level with your shoulder. Shoulder's always a good reference point. Turn it to the left until I have nothing, then bring it to the left until I hit right at the base there. So now you'll see the starting point is here. If I move back, I have no signal. But I want this to be the very bottom, so I want to take that into the empty part there. And now... If I want it to be tighter, I can move front in front of it here. Now check, now the range is really small. If I want it to be extremely large, And then brightness control and waveform just kind of control the shape of the actual tone. So there it's tuned and now we can play. Again, this is your volume control and here you have the pitch.
Well, that kind of sounded like something, but I'll let Owen show you uh, his rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. <laughs> 